Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started our uh, about Civil Engineering basic knowledge tutorial series, and here, I mean, in this lecture, I am just going to show that how load transfer from slab to foundation. So this is a most important topics, and it is we got to know about every civil engineer that how load transfer from one element to another element especially from slab to foundation okay so in this video i'm going to discuss about that in detail so and also if you need to know about more basic knowledge video so you can watch our previous video that link are also given in description so let's uh, start and also if you are new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon first of all if you see here here is a suppose this is a honestary building and if you see here here some load are working okay? they have some load that are working here so uh, that load uh, suppose uh, this is a 2s slab okay consider this is a 2s slab so this slab load will transfer to that 4 beam okay that slab load will transfer in that four beams right from that four beams it will transfer to column and from column it will transfer to foundation actually this is the procedure to transfer load from a building okay so if we discuss i mean uh, i will discuss about that in details so just come here suppose this is a one way slab okay for one way slab you all know that in which direction the load transfer so the load transfer in suppose uh, if we divide our slab in that one line okay so here just see here if we divide our slab in one line and obviously our load will transfer to that two slab actually mainly that two slab because uh, in two a slab the load transfer in long side i mean uh, the long being i mean it's in its shorter direction okay so this is the way of transferring load from on a slab to its beam okay after that if we see here in uh, to a slab okay just see here suppose uh, for to a slab sorry um here if we consider a 2 s slab here suppose this is a 2 s slab now uh, if you just see here for 2 s slab the load will transfer in its four i mean it's every beam okay it's every beam so if we see here we have to create a line like that a with 45 degree angle with any of beam then we have to li uh, line it we have to create a line here actually like that so again from here i mean uh, from that point here from that point we have to also again draw a line okay so it will touch that point and similarly for that side similarly for that side then uh, we'll get a line here and here we'll get a trapezoidal we'll get two trapezoidal and in that two side we'll get So here and also just see here we'll get four element and in shorter side I mean in for shorter length of our slab we'll get rectangular portion of load and for longer side we'll get trapezoidal trapezoidal portion of load so from here it is clear that for one way slab for one way slab the load transfer will be in one direction okay and the two s slab the load will transfer to both direction i mean in two direction right and also in one way slab will provide reinforcement main reinforcement in one direction and another is distribution reinforcement but or and uh, for two s slab we have to provide reinforcement in both direction as a main reinforcement 
so after that if we come here for 2 slug uh, here actually how much load will transfer to our columns okay uh, we have seen that uh, the load will uh, a trapezoidal load will come here also a trapezoidal uh, rect uh, I mean a triangular load will come here okay so actually how percent will take our columns so if you see here one column will carry one fourth of total slab load and beam half of its connected beam load just uh, what is the meaning of that so one slab basically uh, this is the main calculation that one slab here if we uh, sorry uh, here if you consider that uh, one column one column will uh, take the total load of one fourth of its slab load one fourth of its total slab load from a uh, slab and half of its beam load okay so just like that so from here uh, from that part it will v1 that uh, columns here it will get uh, that column for uh, that portion load with live load and self weight load and also from here the self weight of beam load also will transfer to that column okay and from that column the load will transfer to directly the load will transfer to foundation so here uh, for 2 slab suppose if we consider that I here uh, for example actually I am just showing you that example suppose uh, its length are 18 feet and its width are I mean its longer duration is 18 feet and shorter duration is 14 feet and also its live load is 50 PSF and its thickness is 6 inch so uh, if we see here a figure just see here that will be our geometrical condition actually how it is when they have 45 degree angle okay when they have uh, the 45 degree angle and also from that point 45 degree angle okay and also they have what is the uh, total uh, length of it its base suppose this is 14 okay this is 14 feet that means as it is 14 feet so uh, that means it will be half of it because here 45 here 45 that means it's a equal length triangle so here it will be 7 feet and also its height will be 7 feet because here 45 degree and if we consider here as a tangent or as a perpendicular line with respect to that line so here have 90 degree so here 45 degree like that way it will be 7 feet also so uh, also from here it will be 7 feet and also from here it will be 7 feet that means 14 feet and the existing that middle portion will be 4 feet like that so here if we uh, consider that if we consider for uh, that portion so its height will be 7 feet its uh, the base length will be 18 feet and the top length will be 4 feet so if we consider its uh, area it will be we know that half into the parallel line summation of parallel um, extremely sorry I have just give here 4 into 18 actually it will be actually it will be 4 plus 18 okay it will be 4 plus 18 I am sorry for that it will be 4 plus 18 so after that we will get our area here so uh, after that we will find out our self weight okay so what will be the self weight 77 into its thickness into unit weight of when we will uh, multiply 77 with 0 0.5 then we will found our volume and we will multiply our volume with our unit weight then we will get our total load of that portion similarly that portion load will be same as uh, that portion and you have to similarly find out that portion weight and that portion weight total weight okay actually this is the self weight this is self weight now again for total here is the 
total uh, livelihood so it's a 50 here 50 into 77 so this is the total livelihood and if we uh, sum that so total load from slab it's uh, 9625 pound so actually uh, for that portion beam will carry 9625 pound load and it will transfer after that we have to calculate uh, the beam self weight and uh, they have another video i'll discuss with you that how we'll find out the beam self weight and also the column self weight and after that uh, that uh, total load will transfer to that column and also that column i mean uh, the half of that load will transfer to that column and another half will transfer to th that column with half of self weight of beam right so for that portion it will be same as so I think it's clear to you that how we'll actually find how we'll actually find out the self weight and also how the load transfer from a slab to beam and beam to column and column to foundation so I think it's clear to you and if you think that there's clear and if you think that you have learned something from here then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon your support is very very requirement uh, to improve ourselves and your opinions opinion is also required to improve ourselves so i think uh, we'll get your support to go forward and to make our field better so thank you thank you very much and also like our video share our video much more with your friends i mean with your engineer friends and also leave a comment your comment is very very important for us so thank you thank you very much